from our studios in the historic Brooks Mansion, located in Northeast Washington, D.C. This is Student Exposure. Since its beginning in 2000, CrossFit has become a worldwide phenomenon and is quickly gaining popularity in the District of Columbia. At District CrossFit, we found out what motivates those that participate and what it takes to become CrossFit strong. CrossFit is a fitness regimen that combines constantly varied and functional movements that are performed with high intensity. Constantly varied means never doing the same workout twice. While functional movements prepare you to respond to everyday activities like squatting, running, jumping, or throwing. And intensity measures how fast you get things done. So, what does it take to become CrossFit strong? I think a lot of people have preconceived notions of what you need to, like that you already need to be in shape to try CrossFit, or that everyone walks in the door being able to lift a ton of weight, and that's totally not true. Um, I think once you come into a box, you realize it's a really inclusive community, um, and everything can be modified and scaled down to really fit everyone's needs. I think some people say CrossFit is dangerous because they don't understand it. Um, and I think anything that's intimidating initially to people, they tend to shy away from. So once you're able to get in here and actually see people doing a lot of these movements and see that everything is scalable, I think that you have a better understanding of it and not think that it's dangerous. A lot of people don't wear gloves in the CrossFit gym because it restricts a lot of your movements. Um, so you're not able to get the same grip on certain utensils, whether it be the bar, the pull-up bar, or a barbell, because your hands are sweaty a lot of times. Um, so you're not able to have the same firm hold on certain items. Um, I think District CrossFit is a very warm environment. Um, a lot of us have been coming here for four, three, four years. Um, so everybody knows everyone and uh, we're very friendly with each other. So it's a very warm vibe, warm community. I decided to transition from being a client to an actual trainer because I really enjoyed helping others. I think it kind of happened naturally. I began to improve as um, a CrossFitter myself. I think that other people came to me for advice and I was able to help them in certain ways and so seeing them achieve things that they previously couldn't do um, without some of my advice and tips, um, it gave me a certain level of, of gratification. I think CrossFit is more complete than other workouts and very unique because it kind of goes so far beyond just the workout of the day. You, it constantly is kind of pushing you to become a better version of yourself. So outside of learning about functional movements, you're learning about nutrition and recovery and goal setting, which I really think can like enhance every other area of your life. CrossFit has helped me personally in, uh, in several ways. One, I think I'm more conscious of what I eat and don't eat. Um, I also think, I know my physical fitness has improved a lot. And I also think that it's helped me understand or re-emphasize the point that um, improvement is a process. And so I like to tell the clients here that um, there's beauty in the struggle. And so you really have to appreciate every single day. Nobody goes from zero to 100 immediately. So you have to appreciate every single day and the growth that you make every day in order to really achieve the outcome that you want. I think it took about two to three months of really um, being consistent with workouts and down into my nutrition and stuff like that. Um, and I started to really see changes in my own like, body and like, strength. I think if anyone was interested in starting CrossFit, my advice would just be um, just have the courage to walk through the door. Don't be concerned um, about any preconceived notions or stereotypes about CrossFit. And as soon as you walk through the door, the community and the coaches will really help you out from there. Wow, what an intriguing approach to the traditional workout. 
Here in the studio, we have DCTV student producer Thaddeus Johnson. Welcome to Student Exposure, Thaddeus. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here, and thank you for doing that piece on CrossFit. There seems to be a lot going on with that, and, and it's a wonderful activity to get to know more about. But my first question for you is, is CrossFit an individual activity, or is mm. it a team sport? Well, I'll actually have to say that it's a little bit of both. Oh. You know, the object of CrossFit is to make you a better you, mm -hmm. a more fit person, and of course, you have to do that yourself. Yes. You know, you personally are lifting the weights. But when you talk to people about what helps them to break plateaus and to reach personal best, mm -hmm. what they always talk about is the teamwork, mm. the camaraderie, yeah. and how a trainer helped them to make these little tweaks to get them where they weren't before. So it's a little bit of both, but um, it's a good sport for everybody to enjoy. Wonderful. Now, I noticed the facility looks a little different than the traditional uh, workout facility. Tell me about that. Yes, most CrossFit facilities are generally or typically referred to as a box. Mm. And so it's usually a, an empty space like an old warehouse. Okay. And the, one of the first things that stood out about District CrossFit is what's not inside. Oh. In a typical gym, you'll see a whole lot of equipment to do a bunch of different exercises. But at a CrossFit facility, it's more like the people are the machines. Wow. And so the weights help them get to where they want to be, but it's all of, all, everything that you need, but without any of the fluff. Ah, okay, just getting right to the hardcore of it. And I also noticed there was an emphasis on not necessarily doing the same thing twice. Uh, how does that keep people motivated or interested? Well, yeah, so part of it is keeping people motivated and interested, but to throw the body off. One of the things that we hear about fitness routines is that they become stagnant yes. after a while, and you trick your body and throw it off by, you know, when you don't expect the same thing every time, you are able to grow a little bit more um, than just doing the same thing over and over. As a training regimen, CrossFit, as you can see, is quite unique. The high-intensity program combines cardio and strength training with a supportive community that empowers people of all ages and backgrounds to become stronger versions of themselves and better equipped to take life head-on. For more information about District CrossFit, visit their website at districtcrossfit.com.